Ooh. Let's do our little Ace temperature check, Ace hardware temperature check. Unfortunately, Ooh. it's a little bit cool on the Marlin T front, Zach. Uh, let's take a look at which Eagle is heating up or cooling off with our Ace hardware temperature check. Visit Ace Hardware Home Services online at www.acehardwarehomeservices.com to get started on your next project. The floor is yours. Well, uh, real quick on the on the temperature check thing, I do want to make this note here. It's hot outside today. 64 schools in Philadelphia um, are being dismissed early today because they don't have proper air conditioning or cooling in their schools. And it brings to mind that Jalen Hurts donated $200,000 back in April to, for, to air condition 10 schools. And I think that's when I saw that on the news yesterday about those 64 schools, that came to mind. And I, as we said in, in April, like we discuss a lot about yeah. Jalen Hurts on the show, good and bad. Um, I thought that was a real cool thing that he did, no pun intended, because it was very intentional. And you you literally see, you know, I, I've um, I've had a lot of interaction with like students in the Philadelphia Public School District, and I remember a conversation one time about like how hot it can, it, it can get in the, in, the, in the school. So uh, I think that's uh, yeah. I just want to make that note. I think that's cool. Good, I think you should have intended the pun. Okay. Yeah. Um, so anyways, uh, the literal temperature or, or the actual temperature check here. Marlon Tui Pelotu, I had on the 53 basically because I felt they needed a backup nose tackle. And he's the best of the backup nose tackles. I'm not overwhelmed with Marlon Tui Pelotu this summer. I'm not overwhelmed with Marlon Tui Pelotu over the past three years here in Philly. Uh, if they can get an upgrade. The Tui Pelotu family is not watching. Yeah. If they can, well, yikes! I like Tuli Tui Peloto if he's available. Okay, wow. well, I hope Marlon's not watching. <laughs> uh, I actually, I, I enjoy my interactions with Marlon. I'm just, so do I. just keeping it real here, right? This isn't about who's who you're friends with, who you're. Yeah, you. Just uh, Zach Berman is the one who's saying this, Marlon. <laughs> yes, I, I am saying this, Marlon. I mean, I think that if they can get Siaka, oh, I'm sorry, Siaki Ika, uh, third round pick. Really? Yeah. Um, out of Baylor two years ago, 23 years old. He was um, he was a transfer from LSU. He's more of a natural yeah. nose tackle. I remember He's got that draft pedigree. Here we go. I remember when the Browns drafted. Now I, I did not. I, I I admit I did not watch his film last year. I think Andrew Barry is a really smart GM. Um, I think that I think he's a very smart GM. <laughs> okay. I think the the Browns are building. Um, a good team. I'm very curious to see kind of what happens with their offensive line as they go forward here. Um, but uh, but when I look at it, I didn't quite understand the fit in Jim Schwartz's defense. With my background covering Jim Schwartz, I didn't really know. Yeah, I I, I thought that uh, Siaka Ika, more of a natural nose tackle, didn't really make sense in that defense. I think in this defense, as a backup to Jordan Davis, would make a lot more sense. So. I see John saying big draft pedigree guy. He was a third round pick. I mean, it's not like we're talking about Caleb Farley here, right? Um, but, <laughs> but I'm saying that I liked him during that draft process. I did, I did look at him because if it, it, it was a year when, you know, we thought the Eagles could be looking at defensive tackles. Um, and I think that from an upside perspective, from a body type perspective, I say who's who's that 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 natural backup nose tackle for. Jordan Davis. I think Siaki Aika. I think it was good. also, remember, it was notable that Vic Fangio was asked about this and did not mention Marlon, Marlon Tui Pelotu. Exactly. I think I was the one who asked him about it, actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, I believe you. Because this has been on my radar yeah. for... Uh, that's, is this that's a radar? An, no, devil, that's an devil antenna. Horns or, oh, <laughs> that's okay. an antenna. The right. antenna is up for this. My antenna mm. has been up for backup nose tackle throughout the summer. We When we spoke about um, depth at defensive tackle... Often we kind of talk about the three technique, and I actually think Moro Ojimo and Thomas and, and 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 Thomas Booker have given them solid depth there. Uh, I am very concerned about what happens if Jordan Davis goes down. Who steps into that role? And that's why I am I'm I would say put a claim in for Siaki Aika. It is also, I mean, there are only so many people in the world who are that size. But it, it is a you don't have to tell me. But it is a position that that can be found. You know, like sure, Lin and you're Ball finding on the waiver wire the right here. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a reason that he, he got waived, obviously. But um, yeah, okay. But if you I haven't said, been I haven't been crushing the Siaki. Yeah, that's what tape, I said. But yeah, I liked him at Bauer. I liked him at uh, in in Dave Aranda's defense. Uh, he came over from LSU with Dave Aranda. Um, Dane Brugler, who I got to say, Dane, you are now my 
well, I, I was always a Fran guy, but now that Fran's officially a draft analyst, right? Mm. Fran's now my, my number one draft analyst. Dane's my number two. Just want to make that clear. Okay. okay. Who's your number three? Well, there's a lot of guys I respect, but um, <laughs> I don't want to pick a third. But my power rankings are Fran and Dane. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Dane had, like I, I believe, a second, third round grade on him coming out a year ago. So something to monitor. Okay. Well, that'll do it for the Ace <laughs> Hardware Temperature Check. Marlon Tuipolotu, sorry. I still think you're cool. And I thought he had a great practice against the uh, Patriots in the joint practice. So he still got that going for him. We all silly like the mayor.